Yes, my friends, right now I'm in the heart of Kampala and I'm inside a traditional restaurant right now and we're gonna have some traditional food here my friends I'm trying to figure out what to get but as you can see this is where we are I'll show you where we are we're in the heart of Kampala city right now my friends this is the menu here mm -hmm. you can see meat 10,000 fill out with goat fill out with meat um, smoked fish, uh -huh. La Wombo goat meat, 12,000. Uh -huh. Trying to figure out what to get. Available food, matoke, white rice, yams, uh, cassava, sweet potato, pumpkin. All healthy foods, my friends. I'm just gonna try to figure out how what to get. If I should get the yam with um goat meat. Excuse me. The um the yams. I could get the um meat, goat meat, meat with, with yam. I could get um uh Meat and yam. Yeah. Oh, I could get. What is this here? What is this one here? The beef with banana leaves. Beef with banana leaves. And banana is inside there. Yeah, I have this one. That's so it. This That's is sauce. just. This is just beef. Yeah. Oh, and you have the sauce in it. So I could get the beef. With um, some banana. Mm -hmm. the, the banana is separate. The banana is separate. So um, this one, how much is this one? Twelve. Hmm? Twelve. Okay. So let me get, if I get this and some yams. Yams. Eh? Yeah. See available food. You could choose one out, one, one out of these. This one, yam. Yams only. Um, to go with this. To go with the meat with um, banana leaves. Mm. But this is like a soup. Oh, I can't get the um the meat without the soup. Oh. Oh. Gold meat plus food. If I get this one, gold meat, gold meat, gold meat plus food. So I get gold meat plus one of these. La wombo meat plus food. What is this one? La wombo. Wombo meat. Like right, this. La wombo meat plus food. Yeah, I would like to get this. La wombo meat. Yeah. Plus food. Food is. Is what? Matoke, sweet potatoes, yams, pumpkin, kosho, and rice. You choose. And you choose one. Yams. Yeah. Yams and um. What mumbo meat? What type of meat is it? What type of meat? Type of meat cow. Oh, okay. Yes. A wombo meat and and yams. Yes, that is nice. That was um. That was kind of complicated, but that's what happens when you're in a new country. You're trying to figure out how things go. Um, I took the Lawombo meat plus yam. I've taken that for quite some time. And, uh, and uh, that should be good. This should be a good meal. You can see where am I? 
Just so on it here. Yeah, I'm just finished. Wow. So, uh huh. So let me see. So I could get one of uh, my toke then. I'll get the matoke. Yes. The matoke. Ugandan special matoke. <laughs> so I'll get traditional Ugandan food now, which is called matoke. That is like the special Ugandan bananas. You could see. Um, yeah, I get all of these, man. Yeah. So, you're trying to get all of these. And, uh, yeah, man. I'll see you again once the food comes through. Um, I'll see you shortly, my friends. This is my food coming. This is very quick. Wow. And this is the uh, matoke here. Wow, look at this. I didn't know it was look it's gonna look so good. And chopped in banana leaves we have the meat now. Let me see how the meat looks like. In the banana leaves, wow. This is what it looks like inside. Uh-huh. Yeah, so let's see how this tastes like. Thank you. You have um uh -huh. So my friends, we're gonna get this now. It's beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy this meat now. So I'm just gonna enjoy this meal now and let's see how it goes. Let me try to let me try to eat it while I'm holding the camera. Yeah, wow wow. <laughs> Matoke. Like a soup. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's try this. Mm. It's healthy, man. Very healthy. Matoke. Banana. Mashed banana. Mm -hmm. This is the banana leaves right here. So now I'm gonna put some of this inside here. Taste it. Mm -hmm. Very tasty, my friends. But let me focus on my food now, and I'll see you again once I'm almost done, my friends. This is in the beautiful um, facility here, a restaurant. Yeah. In the beautiful facility here, man. Yeah. This is the outside. So I'll see you again shortly. Yeah, I'm just here with my new friend here, just joining me here for lunch and he's trying to guess where I'm from. He called Zimbabwe, South Africa, Nigeria, um, Kenya. It's out, yeah. So you're, you're, um, you're guessing, you call four African countries so far. They did the same thing in Kenya, you know, and they get it. It was the same, they couldn't guess it. I would give you a million Kenyan shillings if you could guess this. <laughs> no, there's no way you're gonna get it. There's no way. Because you're not, you're not even close. You're not even close to... Um, <laughs> You're not even close, man. Huh? I've No. 
He's not in West Africa. He's not in West Africa. Not from East Africa. Not in East Africa. That be, which that be? Let me save you some strength. Um, not in South Southern Africa either. He's not in Central Africa. He's not in Central Africa. Not Liberia? No. He's not in North Africa. No. No. You give up. Nowhere in Africa. It's nowhere in Africa. Hmm? Huh? Nowhere in Africa. Let me give you another clue. This is the flag of the country. Right here. This is the flag of the country. <laughs> so you give him a good clue. I tell him this is the flag of my country. You don't know. I'll give you another clue. It's um it's not you ever heard of Jamaica? Jamaica, yeah. Not in Jamaica, but close to Jamaica. Mm. You know the Caribbean, you ever heard of the Caribbean? Caribbean islands. One of them, one of them. One of them. There's about 20 something, you know. There's about 20 something Caribbean islands. All black Africans live there. Haiti? No. Haiti is pure French speaking. They speak mostly French. It's an English speaking Caribbean island. In the Caribbean is French speaking, English, and Spanish. English speaking is a majority. And the English speaking Caribbean is like over 90% black people live in the islands. People would think you're from there if you, if you went there. You ever heard of um, Antigua? You ever heard of it? No, oh, you won't get it. Right, it's right next to Antigua. On an island called, you ever heard of St. Kitts and Nevis? Huh? No, no. No. No way, no way. You never heard of St. Kitts and Nevis? No. Never ever. How, how old are you? I'm 40. 40? I'm 41. And you never heard of St. Kitts and Nevis? Wow. The same thing I was say, say, telling I was saying in Kenya. I'm from a, a place that is not known. Because most people in Africa I realize don't know about the Caribbean. The Caribbean is like 20 something islands. And all of them, most of them are like black people living there. From the um, you know, the slave trade. From the slave trade, come from West Africa. The slave trade. That's why you were saying West Africa. Because most of the descendants from the people living in the Caribbean are from West Africa. So if you go to the Caribbean island, you will say, ah, these people look just like um like West Africans. Yeah. So there you had it my friends, St. Kitts and Nevis. So that was another game I played in Uganda this time. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm in Africa, you know. This is beyond in Africa. We're trying to let the world know that St. Kitts and Nevis is a real place and that we exist, my friends. But we'll talk more about it. Let me just get back to my meal here and um, continue to talk with my friend right here. My friends, I am just finished um, having my nice Ugandan meal. I'm just leaving now and it's Aya. It's been great my friends. Um, make sure to subscribe to Beyond in Africa and I'll see you again in the next video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe as well. And I'm just going to show you what the front view of me is. And my friends, it's been a great journey. Um, this is the place here that I'm staying. The wonderful um, waitresses here at Haji Abdul Wah Wahab. Nice Muslim, sound like a Muslim restaurant. Which is great, my friends. 
and um, yeah, just gonna catch my um, my uh, my um, border border, and this is it here that I came from. Yes, my friends, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.